All right, so we have everything hooked up as far as being able to do a bench test on it. So it's off the ground, Let's see how it does. Um, there's a 30 amp fuse, so it can't pull all the juice as I showed you before, but How's it going, everybody? Just want to show you some of the projects I got going on right now. Um, Quadzilla has been destroyed, uh, but it's coming back. It's going to be the Phoenix. I just want to show you guys what I have working on, and also I got the QS motor in. So I got a couple projects going all at once. Um, thinking about turning my Lexus into a convertible. Or not convertible to an electric car, but I'm not really sure. This one's the 8 kilowatt. I did an unboxing of it. There's the controller. So I ripped out the old tire. I'm going to put the new one in. This is going to be my little Ninja 250 with the 8 kilowatt motor. Uh, we're going to be running four Chevy Volt batteries, which are right there. That's going to give me right around uh, 95 amp hours. Um, not what I wanted, but it's all I can fit on this little guy. Uh, so right now, what I have to do, I'm going to bench test it, but I'm going to bench test it on the bike. I know that sounds stupid, but um, the kickstand actually holds it up, so I'll be able to just hook it all up, put it on the ground. So what I have to do is cut here and here. And then again, here and here to have the motor hook in. Then there are these little pieces that bolt onto here and onto the motor to hold it in place uh, so it doesn't fly out the back or fly forward or anything else. Once that's done, all I have to do is mount the controller, which I'm probably going to mount in this plastic. Um, I'm going to replace that shock with a heavier shock, uh, redo the front shocks, and then I'm going to make custom fairings. I'm actually going to do a beer keg steampunk type thing with it, um, I think. But let's get it running first. So I'm just going to show you guys what I'm doing, how I'm putting this on, and how it's getting mounted. Then I'll do a bench test on it. So. Like I said, you want to cut this here. You have to cut a notch so you can slide it right in. Using my DeWalt power tools, they are not sponsoring me either. Wish they were. dry run on it. Sorry about the low light. Let's see how it goes. So there's a flat side to it. You have to make sure that lines up. Otherwise it will not fit. So 
there it is. Stress motors mounted onto the bike. Got to figure out where I'm going to put the controller. But next, I'm going to wire this puppy up. Um, throw the full batteries on the floor. And just do a quick test on it. Make sure it runs. Um, it's spinning in the right direction and all that fun stuff. So I'll do that and you'll see me shortly. All right. So one thing I didn't show you was that it comes with this uh, brake. Um, just hand tightening it now before I get it all lined up. Make sure it fits. The good news is that when I first got this motor, I actually got the 8 kilowatt for the smaller bike because I didn't think the 12 would fit. There's actually plenty of space in the Ninja 250 for the 8 kilowatt or the 12 kilowatt motor, the bigger one. Um, I have it, so I'm going to stick with it. But just if anyone else was wondering if you have the dropout for it, you definitely do. So I'm going to mount this up. Um, try to figure out the caliper, but first, like I said, I'm going to stick it on to the bike and do a dry run on it. So, you'll see that next. Alright, so, I don't have it all wired up yet, but we're getting close. I want to show you where I'm at so far and just give you some tips and pointers of some really important things that you need to think about before you hit this up so you don't kill yourself if you're going to do this. So, I've got two volt batteries connect it in series <clears throat> one thing that you want to do is always uh, bench test your motors so all I have that doing is sitting up there I really didn't mount it uh, to it didn't get everything there it's just bolted I mean it's mounted but it's just bolted in it's not fully mounted um, it's because it's lifted off the ground so I can put it on there and test it just have it spin when you're hooking up the batteries that you're using you don't have to go full blast. So you can use just a little um, fuse. I also have the fuse connected to a kill switch. When you're dealing with this amount of volts, you just really wanna be careful, and amps, you just really wanna be careful that you don't fry your ass. So I have it all hooked up. I'm going to attempt to wire up the throttle and then give it a spin so just wanted to give you that little advice like i said you do not have to run it full blast so this is not the final configuration um but i have it running at low amperage just so i can test it out low volts uh if anything happens or is wired wrong this will blow i'm also able to turn it off and on so i don't so I have a kill switch if something else goes wrong in the shorts. So you just want to make sure that you have everything as safe as possible. I don't want any of you to kill yourself. So. All right, so we have everything hooked up as far as being able to do a bench test on it. So it's off the ground, Let's see how it does. Um, there's a 30 amp fuse, so it can't pull all the juice as I showed you before, but blowing smoke up because part of it's hitting the ground uh, periodically as it got as it got uh, faster and faster the tire started to expand and it um, started hitting the ground but that was only partial drop oh, doing it again can you lean on the front harder
So yeah, QS motor seems to work. Volt cells. Didn't have it charged up, it was at 90, so I went through a, well, it's going back up. Very little sag. Um, haven't taken it on the road, but we're close. The other thing I wanna show you is this. I ran into a problem earlier. Um, one of the things that I ran into that you're gonna have to figure out, and I think I figured out, was Inside here, there's these little things they give you that have to bolt on to the tire. It's kind of hard to see. On that side. You can kind of see it there where that little uh, bolt's hanging out. I had to drill a hole in the side, and these ones aren't going all the way through, so I'm going to have to get longer ones to go all the way through and bolt it down. But if you don't, the tire will jump off and throw you. So getting these mounted is kind of hard. Um, it's not as easy as you think because you can't put them on the outside because it doesn't reach. So I put them on the inside. I'm going to measure this out and try to get a bolt that fits exactly here to here and just throw a nut on it. Um, a lock nut on it because if this goes the tire will literally just fly out uh, tr Gonna try to think of something else I can do too to make it a little stronger, but that's what it comes with It's just somewhat scary Thinking that it'll jump off. I think while it was spinning you saw it jumping a little bit um, But it's not bolted on so It's just kind of pushing in and holding it So yeah, all I have to do is get these batteries mounted up and we'll take it for a test drive. Seems to be doing pretty good. Um, this is three months in the making. It actually only took me about four hours to get it hooked up and run. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video.